What's up guys, Slap a Web Blow here. Uh, I've been getting some requests to help some people out on how to overclock their video cards. And this um, guide will actually help you with all um, NVIDIA type cards and technically AMD cards as well as MSI Afterburner also uh, applies to that platform as well. First thing you're gonna do, guys, is download MSI Afterburner. Um, if you want, I'll put a link into the description of how to get it. You're going to download it. You're going to run the program. And when you run the program, it's going to, first thing you're going to notice after you reboot your computer, everything is going to pick up what driver you're using and what video card you have. You should definitely see the card that you are trying to overclock. And as you see right here, this is how it comes default. Power limits at 100%. Core clock is zero. Memory clock is zero. And this I'll get into in a minute. First, we're going to deal with the overclocking settings. Uh, first thing you must know is, like I want to show you right here, um, popping this up. This is your base clock on this card. I have super clock cards, okay? As of a few more hours, I'll have my second 980 Ti super clock card. So this is the one I'm getting. As you see, it's the same as the reference on the speeds. Let me go down a little bit. So you got 1102 base clock, 1190 boost clock now the thing to notice is just because you're playing a very intensive game doesn't mean it's only going to boost up to 1190 if you are it will look at your computer uh see what the capabilities of if you have enough ram the cards running cool enough uh, it's getting all the everything it needs it'll boost past that you might even you know you might boost to 1250 1260 Okay, so that may be the boost clock it says. Like this one is the hydro copper. This is a base clock of 1140, which is higher, and a boost clock of 1228. So the very important thing to know is before you start overclocking is to have an idea of what your base clock is and especially the boost clock, okay? So for what I've been doing since I have the 980 Ti every single video is I know what my boost clock is. I kind of know what the sweet spot is in time because uh, by studying it and reading up on it and stuff. So what I do is, before I start my videos, first thing is the power limit on MSI Afterburner. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, put it on 110%. Actually, let me get rid of this for a second. Put it on 110%. That's going to give it the extra power if it needs the card so it can achieve uh, higher clocks and all that stuff. What I do next is you could type it in or just drag the bar. You could put this on 150 and oh, it's going to be a pain in the neck. Hold on. 150. Enter. And 150. Enter. And I'll explain in a second what this is. This is your core clock. This is your GPU clock. This is the megahertz that it's running out. So as you know, zero was the reference point of what it is. This is with the overclock. So this is going to add on to the boost clock. Okay, so that's why if you see my videos, I'm at like 1401, 1408. Now again, it differs by a few megahertz and depends on the game, but this will be your core clock. So with this added on, gives you about a 1408, 1401 overclock on your GPU. Okay, second is your memory clock. That is your add-on to what your base memory was at. So as you saw, this was on zero. Let me reset it again to show you. We're back to reset. This is the way it'll come when you get it. Again, you're going to raise up your power limit. Always put it to 110. Raise up your core clock. Now do this slowly because like I said, every card is different. Every computer is different. So it's going to be different. This is what I'm doing to just let you know. So I like this. If I wanted to do this, I hit apply and that's all you do. And your card is overclocked when you start playing games and stuff like that, okay? So all these cards have um, will kind of idle at mellow temperatures and stuff like that. So that just because you're clocked it up like this doesn't mean right now it's cranking up at 1400 megahertz because it's not. It's not getting used. I'm not doing anything. But this is all ready to go for your overclock. So there you go. Power limit, 110%. Core clock, play with it, okay? Start with less. Start with slower interval ratings, okay? Don't be just putting 200 apply and trying to run a game. You're going to fry your cards. So be smart. Go slow. This is my sweet spot, okay? So mine is, what I do is 150 and 150. Is there more in the tank? Is there more to get out of it to get to higher speeds? Yeah, 
Yeah, you could. Uh, the core clock, you could probably go up quite a, you know, not a much more. I've had some freezing on the um, the Heaven Benchmark froze a couple times when I started pushing it to like 1420, 1425. So just, you know, this is the 980 Ti card, as you know, is what I'm showing you as a reference point. And the megahertz, the, the RAM can go up a lot higher, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So again, what I want you to do is whatever card you have, do some searching on your card and see what the professionals are getting as an overclock, as a general reference point, okay? So that's what I want you to do. Find out the reference point. Don't just put it up to it. Go much lower and then slowly build up. What you'll look for um, instability is, you know what? Yeah, you, you could do all these benchmarking things like Heaven's Benchmark and stuff like that. You know what you do? Honestly, you know, for, for a person who's not too in-depth with it, just play your games. And as long as you're not getting artifacting, artifacting you'll know is like little dots start appearing on the screen or the game starts freezing. If it's doing that, that means your overclock is too aggressive. And come back in here, click reset. And again, apply an overclock, but obviously less on both the memory and the core clock. And apply it and try it again. You'll find a sweet spot. It takes a little time, but as a reference point, use with professional websites. So whatever card you have, do a search, see what people are getting, because every card is different, okay? And like I said, every uh, system is different. Okay, with that said, I'm going to show you for Fan 2, okay? Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me show you right here. Now, this is the other aspect of it, okay? Let me just close this off. As you see here, after you're done with this, you click apply. I want you to click settings. This is how you do manual fan control and to keep the card running cool like I do. Okay. What I want you to do is obviously copy these settings. Okay. You could just pause the video, copy these settings so you'll have the same. Here's the, um, this is how I show the um, stats on my video, show on screen. But that's a whole other video. But right now, you're going to go to fan. It's off as you see. Click enable user defined software. Okay. And you're going to hit OK. OK. And when you do that, it's going to disappear. So we don't want that. No, just kidding. So yeah, click fan. Now, what I want to show you here is I already have mine kind of set up. This is the fan aspect of keeping your card cool. What I want you to do is you're only going to have a few dots here to start. See, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fan settings, um, manual fan settings. If you leave your cards on auto, the cards are going to run extremely hot. Okay, you're going to be running in the 80s without a question asked on a reference blower style. When you're playing a 4K or you're really maxed to the game out, you're going to be well into the 80s. I don't like that. I don't mind some sound out of the cards. Yes, they're going to be louder, but it keeps the cards cooler, which is my thing. So what I want to show you here is you're going to click. I already have as much as you can get here, but you're going to click, and I'm going to show you how you do this. This is your fan speed on your left. This is your temperatures. So common sense, it's one of those graphs, okay? Temperatures this way, fan speed this way. As you see this dot, see it says 40 Celsius, 30% fan speed. So when my card is at 40 Celsius, it'll run a 30% fan. Now let me show you the next thing. I'm going to click here. Now if you see, I just clicked it, it moved a little bit, it's alright, I'm not going to save it. But if you see right now, because it's highlighted, that's the one I clicked. Now when you click, you're going to get these boxes that you keep clicking. The most you're going to have is this amount of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boxes, the most you're going to be allowed to do is a manual fan setting. But you click, a new box will appear, okay? And if you see right here, I just clicked it and it moved. But it's 44 Celsius, 40% fan. If you click here, now I'm at... 50 Celsius is 50% fan. So what that means is, let me go through the whole thing. I just moved this to 55 Celsius is going to give me a 56 fan because I clicked it on accident. But at this one, 65% fan gives me 60 Celsius. So what happens is as the card rises in temperature, the fan will go up accordingly to keep the card cooler. And this is the range where you're going to see it. My cards kind of stay at 70 because I'm at almost 80% fan. Now you could play around with the fan parameters. This is a this is my reference point, what I use, and it's very effective. Uh, yes, you're going to get, definitely going to get some sound out of your cards. They're not going to be whisper quiet. They're going to be pushed more. But to, for me, this is me personally, is that I'd rather have the card run cooler and have a higher fan setting. Okay? So that's how you'll do it. You'll set up your parameters, 
and you put force fan speed, change this to 1,000. That way, it'll monitor quicker. You could raise it to 2,000, but I recommend 1,000. And it'll keep monitoring. And as, like I said, as your temperatures go up, your fan speeds will go up and fight and combat the, te the heat that's coming out of your car. Now, like I said, if you don't want to do a manual fan control, this is all you have to do to do it. There's nothing else to it. And click OK. Okay, I'm not going to click OK because I kind of screwed with this. I'm going to click Cancel and get out. But you are going to see that your cards are going to run a lot cooler. Definitely louder, but a lot cooler. But otherwise, your cards are going to be loud anyway because I promise you this. Your fans are going to run crappy. Like, you're going to have a 50% fan at 70%, and your card is going to heat up in seconds. And you're going to notice it. So... When you guys ask me how do I get the temperatures under control and stuff, this is what I use. So download MSI Afterburner. This is your overclocking program. Very simple. This simple as this. Like I said, it works for many, many cards, not just only the 980 Ti. I've done a video with this with the Titan X and 980 and all of those cards. So that's how you do it. Um, I do have a video on how to use the monitoring, like my on-screen guide to show all that. That's another video. But that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys right now.